hi dolls welcome back to my channel so on today's video i'm gonna show you guys how i plucked this wig so i'll be showing you guys my plucking technique the knots are already bleached this is a 13 by 4 hg frontal from love me hey i'm obsessed so i'm just gonna show you guys how i plucked it and my plucking technique and all that i hope you guys enjoy the video so you're gonna need this mannequin head never mind the dirtiness the heat protected spray it protects the hair from burning this hot comb i got it from emporium here on instagram it's a brand dolled up it was like 750 a tweezer a comb and the wig sorry guys i just took it from outside because it was still drying up so i'm gonna start by um Pin, um yo is it pinning down <laughs> but yeah i'll start by i'm um, putting the wig on the mannequin head guys my mannequin head has stains because there's like lace tint and stuff and i've never really thought of cleaning it up but yeah also i didn't think it was going to be much of a big deal because yeah but yeah i'll try and wash it the next time i do such a video and i'll try to do a video where i show you guys how to bleach knots i didn't think of shooting that video before because i didn't think i was gonna do a tutorial but today it's just about plucking but definitely on the next video i will show you guys how i bleach and plug afterwards so i learned this technique a year ago because before guys i used to be so lazy i would literally just pluck the front part i wouldn't even bleach the knots and i don't understand why my wigs didn't have that natural effect until i watched some youtube tutorials where people pluck their wigs and um um bleach their knots and all that also guys i believe in over bleaching because i feel like it easily blends in with my skin as you guys can even see on the video that the knots are invisible and it's going to be easy for me to plug and it's also going to give me that natural hair effect i'm not saying you guys should also over bleach like as a beginner just like try to do minimal bleaching and minimal plucking so that you don't cause bald spots on your wigs but as you get used to it you might see what i'm talking about so i just sprayed the heat protectant spray so that when i comb the hair backwards with the hot comb some of the hair won't burn out not that i'm saying the hair is gonna burn out but guys you just need to be safe you know imagine now next thing i start combing the hair with the hot comb and then next thing it starts burning so i'm just gonna comb the hair backwards that way it's gonna you know direct me and actually i can also see the hair properly and i can see where i need to plug as you guys can see some people wouldn't even plug this hair because it already looks plugged but with me i want that proper proper natural look so at the beginning of the video i think the first couple of minutes i'll do it slowly and then i'll just fast forward the rest of the video because you guys can't sit there and watch me do something over and over again so for now i'm just gonna guide you guys on how i'll start plucking and how I'll start i'm sectioning the hair and then after that i'll just fast forward most of the parts because it's literally the same thing and then i'll show you guys the end product so now i'm just combing back the hair with the hot comb so i can have control over it and then okay let's wait guys this is so new to me <laughs> this is so new to me so i'll use the comb to like section the hair like in three parts i'll do two side parts and then i'll do the middle part so i'll just section like i don't know how to measure it guys but if you can like section like most of the front part not like from the back just try not to like section too much of hair because next thing you'll be left with bold spots so i'm just gonna section like a small portion of hair maybe like three four rows i'll just take those out and then i'll start plucking from the back and i'll start plucking backwards as you guys can see that middle part i'm also going to section it alone like you get i'm trying to show you guys um the three sections that i'll be doing because i can't do the whole hair at once like the whole hairline at once i can only do sections so i just try to like take out like three rows and then yeah you guys will see how i will do everything else guys i'm gonna be keeping quiet at some parts because i i don't know what to say <laughs> i don't know what to say or maybe i can like do a mini story time while we are doing the hair i don't know we'll see i don't even know if i don't even think i'm in the mood to tell it story time but i will see guys anyway 
yeah i also use the hot comb to like comb down the hair at the back and then i'll start plucking i'll start plucking backwards and also guys when you plug like you guys okay you guys should like try and watch closely how i plug as i'm plucking like i'm moving i'm not in one place like i'm moving upwards and you're plucking like it's plucking like backwards so you can't like stay in one place like just be plucking and be moving up and down because the moment you like plug in one section the whole time it's gonna cause bold spots because you might pluck out a lot of hair so as you guys can see i'm just like you know plucking backwards and then if i see there's still hair that needs to be plucked i go back and i fix that that's what i'll be doing throughout so this is literally the first row that i'll be plucking as you guys can see i'm now going back on those parts where i did not pluck out enough hair what should i say <laughs> okay i hope you guys can see properly and i hope you guys can like see the difference as i'm plucking because i can see the difference while i'm watching the video so yeah i'll just also guys like you don't necessarily have to hold the mannequin head but with me i like holding it like this other people plug while it's on the tripod stand with me i want to sit down i want to be comfortable i want to do everything comfortably so that's why i am holding my mannequin head like that because i just want to be comfortable so you guys can see i've done the first row obviously the first row doesn't have to be like over plugged because that's literally in the middle you guys can see the amount of hair i tried to plug out so i tried to make it as natural as i can because this is already hd lace and the hair in front is already thin i wouldn't want like my hairline being thin from the middle so now i'm gonna section up the second row and then i'll do the same thing So I'll just use the hot comb to comb the hair back and then I'll start plucking again and then it's the same thing with the other row until we're done and then I'll go to the next section. So now that I have done the second row I'm just gonna start plucking and it's the same thing guys plucking going up going down like I try not to like pluck out too much because the hair is already like the lace is already thin and all that you guys can already see the hair looked like it was already plucked before i even started plucking it so like i try not to pluck out too much because i'm avoiding having bald spots because i remember in the past i would over pluck because i would want that natural line effect and then i would end up ruining my wigs because after one wash the wig would have so many bald spots so i just try very hard to be like more natural and try not to like over plug and stuff as you guys can see like the hair is coming out nicely like i try not to like pluck out too much and stuff you know also guys this hot comb is a life saver yo it's a life saver like it's so hot and it easily controls my hair i never have to like have problems with my hair it helps my it helps me keep my wigs flat because i love flat wigs i don't like bumpy wigs so Jay, it's a lifesaver you guys can see it's coming out perfectly like it is coming out perfectly and i tried so hard to be minimal i'm sure you guys noticed that didn't pluck out much hair from this wig i tried very hard to be like as minimal as i could so do you guys see the importance of plucking backwards because you see what you're doing other people pluck for um pluck from the front which could work for them but with me i've tried that and didn't really turn out well and like this whole thing of plucking from the back like does wonders you guys can already see like it's that it's like literally doing wonders so now i'll just do the front row which other people use as edges so i'm just gonna try not to pluck out too much because the front row is already thin so i'll just try to like pluck out as little as i can to make the wig look as natural as it can so as you guys can see i'm trying my best to plug as little as i can and guys it's turning out so nicely yeah i'm obsessed i am obsessed love it kesana love it kesana please guys after this tutorial i don't want to see thick hairlines please i don't want to see thick hairlines so now i'm gonna um do the i'm gonna do the middle part 
and yeah you guys it's literally gonna be the same thing so i might as well just fast forward the video because it's gonna be the same thing like there's not gonna be anything different it's gonna be the same thing like the same method the sectioning opening up rows and all that yeah what was i doing here hey what was i doing hi wow but anyway same thing sectioning so i'll still like open up like leave up space for like three four okay now that this is the middle part i'm gonna leave out like four rows because the middle part in most cases is always thicker than the sides so i'm just gonna like take out like four to five rows just so it can match the sides yo guys i'm obsessed with the part can you see what over bleaching does like look at the potting okay fine there is literally bleach at the beginning of the roots <laughs> there's bleach at the beginning of the roots and it's not cute but you know you can like fix that up with the mascara there's nothing a mascara can fix but you guys can see how nice it looks you know i don't even have to add foundation on my partings because it already has that natural look and it's nicer on the head actually it's way nicer on the head you guys probably saw my pictures on instagram it's way nicer and also i just feel like if you are my complexion yo this is the go-to because it literally blends in with your forehead like as soon as you put it on your head it just blends it just makes it look like the hair is coming out of your scalp so yeah that's why like i wouldn't really oh, um, recommend over bleaching for like different skin colors because if you like darker now the roots are gonna be like yellowish and stuff and everybody can see it so that's why like minimal is highly recommended but then if you happen to be my complexion or even i think even lighter like even if you lighter than me it will also work but then like if you darker and that yellowish does show on your wigs then i suggest that you stick to minimal plucking and then also i would recommend a lace tint so what you should do is use your foundation and rubbing alcohol mix it in a spray bottle and spray it on your lace before your installation to avoid having white lace or yellow lace if you if you've over bleached you're not ah, english so as you guys can see it's the same thing the sectioning of the rows the plucking and it's coming out very nicely guys i think i missed the other side like i thought my phone was recording but it wasn't guys this is why i need to get a camera because this is not it so my phone was off i thought it was recording and i didn't notice that it went off because i couldn't see my phone screen because i had to put it in the angle where it shows um the plucking properly so i didn't notice that it did not record but okay, as long as you guys like saw the basics and saw the most important parts and yeah guys it's literally coming out so nicely i am obsessed yo i love this wig i was so sad when it didn't fit me perfectly but i'll make a plan about it i think i'm, I'm just gonna go and like get someone to like redo it for me in like a bigger wig cap because i love this wig so much like it's so nice the curls are so nice the frontal blends in easily with my skin i love it Shem. i love it and you guys can see like the hair texture it's giving man like everything is just giving so now i'm just gonna do the front row and that is gonna be it and i just want to thank you guys for watching the video i'm so sorry i couldn't get this um other side like i did explain my phone went off so this is just the last part of the video and yeah that's basically how you plug and i hope this video was very informative and i hope you guys learned and i don't want to see any thick laces get guys after this tutorial please do not make me angry i do not want to see <laughs> any thick laces please make sure you plug your wigs and you can still plug your wig even after the lace has been cut you can just buy yourself two pins and a mannequin head and then just pin down your wig on your mannequin head with the t-pins and then section it and plug it it's never too late because i don't want you guys walking around with thick wigs because uh -uh, it's not cute guys it is not cute and also with me yo guys i hate thick wigs i don't want to lie it just doesn't it doesn't feel right and guys yo i'm so obsessed with wigs i don't want to lie like i am so obsessed with wigs like wigs are my entire life if you want to get me to like you get me a wig sana because i am obsessed 
so yeah you guys can see it came out nicely so i'll just do the front part and then we wrap up the video and you guys will see the final product other than that yeah thank you so much loves for watching my video it means a lot and yeah i'll definitely do the bleaching video i'll do the way i bleach my knots and stuff and then i'll also like add the plucking as well which i really don't have to make it more detailed on that video because you guys have already seen this one so anyway love you guys loads thank you bye